Right, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, creating and deleting tables um, in your database. So I think the most important thing to remember with this is, let's start off with create anyway, is you need to do an exercise before you create a table um, to understand what data is going to go into it. And the reason behind this is once you start creating a table, and you have the column names and the data types. Um, there could be a problem later on where you suddenly find that the data type is wrong and put your data in it. Because if you um, change the data type, that fundamentally could change the data you and how it's viewed in the table and how it can be used. So a good exercise before I create any tables is to work with any data, any data analysts or business analysts, get all the user requirements, understand the length of the data type, the length of each column, uh, how it's going to be used, um, because really once it's embedded in the um, data and the data type, it's only thing to be changed on the table is the data and the, the data types should remain static. Now, that doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but if it does happen and you have to change the data types, you just need to do an impact assessment. So today what we'll do is, as you can see on the screen, we want to create a table here in our underscore database, right? Um, and what I'm going to do is going to write the create statement, right? So if you want to create a table, right? You just basically type create table, right? And then what I want to do is go, so it's going to be er sorry, underscore dbase, right? So it's created in here, okay? It's going to be created in here in this database. And then we're going to call it, say, dai underscore example right so that is sorry call that rule name that correctly so that's the first thing so this is the statement um basic on this table error database create a table called da example now the next thing you want to do is actually create the columns in that table right so there's a return so there's two bits to this uh, the first bit is the column name so i'm just going to say name okay second bit is its data type so obviously, as part of the, at the start of this video, I mentioned about doing a data analysis and working with maybe a business analyst and the users uh, of this table data. Um, that should that exercise should describe what goes in each column on the data type. So we're just for in this scenario and for this example, we're just going to call the bar chart. Okay. Okay. And the next thing you want to do is you want to okay, say if you want a second column, so we're going to say year. Okay. Uh, we're going to call it, uh, we're going to give it the data type int. And then the next column we could say is, say, date of birth, right? And we're going to call it, say, date, okay? And then the last thing you want to do is uh, hit, hit the close the bracket, okay? So as a result of the code we've just written there, we should now in a second when we run this and execute this code, we should see a new table called DAI underscore example appear here. Uh, within that, we should see three columns called name, year, and date of birth. So let's go ahead and run the code. Two seconds now. So brilliant. We now have five tables within this error database, okay? And as you can see there, it should have popped up on the screen, DAI underscore example has been created and now it's saying columns three right and it has name okay year and date of birth so that's very quickly how we would create a table so let's just show you then actually let's just do a select um star this should come up blank right but if we just do uh, okay i'll do this I click this okay execute this so the, it recognizes now the database has been created, but actually it's empty because we haven't populated anything. And that's where a future video we're going to be working on, on how to update a database and insert values will come into fruition. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. So this video is about creating and deleting. Um, we've already created the database. Now um, we want to actually delete it. Right, so we've created the table there and um, as you've seen and there can be a scenario where you actually want to delete it okay 
Now, with caveat deleting any tables is obviously you need admin privileges and obviously you need to be 100% sure you don't need the table. Um, in certain organizations as well, they restrict quite significantly who can do this. So I just do a quick check on everything um, and all the data that's contained with it before you proceed. But let's just show you how to do it. So we've earlier on in this video, we created, um, created DAI underscore example as the table name. Um, so now we're going to, uh, it's an empty table anyway, so now we're going to delete it. So if you want to delete a table, it's very straightforward. You do basically a drop statement and basic table, drop and table and space between them and capitals. And then basically we go and look at the schema and then look at the table name within that, okay? So this is scheme is this, and then the table is the D, and we'll just undo that, excuse me. And then the table name is DAI example. So it's this table here. So we run this, this will refresh, and this DAI example should disappear. Okay, so now there's an example of how you very easy, and very quickly drop a table. So I hope you like this tutorial today, it's very quick. Uh, if you like the channel, hit the subscribe button, like, um, please share with your colleagues or friends, anybody working data analysts or anybody in this field looking to learn more. I have new videos coming soon on this channel. We This one's on SQL, we do all the videos on Python. So thanks for popping by and talk to you soon. Bye.